out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl, my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Gemini. Now, I also do your weekly you versus them, Gemini, for your weekly reading as well, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point. I have like this weird thing right now, Gemini, where I'm like hiccuping, but have a burp. Ugh, I'm so sorry. That's weird. Uh, but yes, yeah, just some Gemini, when it comes to my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective and just man reading some tarot cards to you, Gemini. You know your situation better than you possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by them. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out. And then also let me know which card resonated with you the most, uh, Gemini, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. I almost called y'all Libra, <laughs> Gemini. Um... And yeah, finally, Gemini, this reading is just here to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine, right? Hopefully this reading gives you some food for thought for you to go throughout your week. Um, but yeah, let's start getting into your uh, reading now. I'm going to be pulling one more card, Gemini, just to get the overall energies. And huh, all right. So the overall energies that we have this week for you, Gemini, is the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is definitely a week of intuition, Gemini. I'm getting that there's like a quote that I know vaguely of that's being reputed in my head, Gemini, of where it's just like, it may not make sense. Isn't it actually like a, from the Bible? I'm pretty sure it may not make sense now, but later it will. I think actually it is for like Jesus. Like it's in regards to like Jesus speaking, be like, it may not make sense right now, but I promise you it will later at, at a later point, which Gemini, what does that mean? If you don't understand it essentially means it's like, even for you, Either it's for you and probably even just the overall energies of this week for you, Gemini, of where it's just like, you may not understand what's going on. It may not make any sense to you. You don't know how you're going to get from point A to point B, right? Heck, you don't, you're just trying to even get to like point A. Some of y'all don't even feel like you're at point A, right? Uh, but, you know, at some point you just have to have faith essentially in that uh, it's going to make sense and that it's all going to pan out. It's one of those things where you have to, Gemini, have this release of control, right? Uh, I'm calling out some of you Gemini control freaks right now, where it's just like, you have to just be in control of it. Maybe even for some of you Geminis, you're just like pulling a bunch of tarot cards yourself or even going into a bunch of tarot readings like this one, trying to just make sense of everything right now and then you have the high priestess card coming in here uh, where it's just like trust your intuition right now listen to your intuition if and one thing i'm getting gemini is where it's like with the wheel of fortune it's almost as if you don't know which way to turn the wheel or where to go and something that I also just, this is like a side message, Gemini, is to listen to your intuition about it. That's where like that same saying of where it's just like, it may not make sense right now, but at some point I promise you it will. Even that's how, that's kind of like the mantra that you need to live your life by this week. Because maybe some people are going to be questioning your actions. Maybe they already are, Gemini, and you're having to just reassure them in that way, or maybe in a more aggressive way, if they're like being insulting about it, right, Gemini? But um, just being like, hey, like, I know what I'm doing, right? It may not make sense to you, but I know the end goal that you I'm trying to get to, right? So with all that in mind, Gemini, let's start getting into your reading. I'm going to start with the career uh, row for you Geminis that are interested in career first. So we have the temperance card for your career. And I know this is one of those cards, Gemini, where it's like, if you know tarot, you see this for your career and it's just like a sigh and just be like a sigh of frustration really is just like, why like you know because this is the card of patience uh gemini this is kind of like biding your time but i can tell you as well gemini it's like spirit isn't going to just you know when you're on your right when you're how do i word this spirit your spirit guides your ancestors whatever it is that you believe and choose to choose to subscribe to gemini um they're always trying to help you along in your path they want the best for you presumably right we would only hope um and so they always want you to have forward movement, right? They wouldn't want you to be stale and on your path. And so when you have spirit telling you, Gemini, 
to hold up right now. Have some patience, right? Just do some healing, perhaps, for some of you guys. Do some healing, do some shadow work. Ten of Swords is the back of the deck energy. Um, some of you guys definitely, Gemini, have dealt with a blow recently, which may or may not be related to your work life. And I feel like for a lot of you, it probably has nothing to do with your work life, to be honest, Gemini, because I do feel like there's like this sense of um, shame or guilt or being extremely hard on yourself, Gemini, this week, because it's just like, you're dealing with a bunch of issues. Like, let's just say like, you're going through a bad breakup, right? Or you just got some really bad news, Gemini. And it's just like, you have to keep going, right? You feel like you have to keep going. You feel like you have to just keep pushing yourself for your career and your workplace right now. But really, Spirit's taking it, asking you to take a moment, pause, and just to heal to take this and take what it, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever pain, whatever struggles it is that you're going through, and just connect with yourself a little bit more. Connect with your guides, right? The High Priestess. I see this card as an energy of where you're more in tune with, like, I see the Hierophant, Gemini, and Tarot as being in touch with your higher self, and I see the High Priestess being more in touch with the otherworldly. And so I, there is probably this push. I would, I mean, when is it a bad time to connect to your ancestors and whatever, right, Gemini? two of wands this is like i feel like you just this is like a temporary pause in action i feel gemini i feel like you want to just keep on go 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 and you feel like if you take a pause that you're being lazy or what have you that's not the case gemini i really do just feel like you just need to take a moment to just like reassess the situation stop trying to always be at the wheel five of wands does come forward so this definitely is either like conflict in your head because this is the conflict conflict card gemini there's either conflict in, going on in your head about what's going on some overthinking perhaps probably even just unrelated anyways you could probably guess that without the five of wands coming forward huh uh, but this is confirming to me what i was saying before gemini of where it's like probably is some conflict in the workplace that's stressing you out so maybe there's been a bump on the road and there has been a pause in action you're just like you know, let's just say, Gemini, you just have a lot on your plate. I'm being shown someone that has a lot on their plate. You're trying to fit a work life in. You're trying to fit a social life in. And you just signed up for school, perhaps, Gemini, as well. And you're just taking night classes or something. And you're trying to somehow fit your... Um, career and your passions in here on the side as well because your career and passions aren't uh, what's giving you your main money right now it's this nine to five that isn't really that fulfilling to you it's just giving you a bunch of conflict really stressing you out you know it's it's a lot and i feel like you just need to take a pause and just figure out a schedule for yourself six of wands does come in letting you know that you are going to be victorious gemini this is the victory card this is like the spotlight is on you but you know as i want to say from before what did i say at the beginning gemini it may not make sense right now but at a later point i promise you it will so this is definitely like that energy of um you know, maybe that side project, you know, that passion that wasn't making you that much money, even though you're only able to put 5% um, of your time into it um, a, a day or a week, Gemini, don't be hard on yourself. It's okay to take it a little bit slower because eventually it's going to pan out and be beautiful. Um, regardless, you're going to be rewarded for it, right? The 5% that you do, it's going to be impactful um, in some way, or in however way that side passion works for you. Uh, Gemini. So don't feel bad about having to take a step back because just because you're taking a little bit of a step back to like uh, just have a better control of your life doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, right? I feel like it is just necessary. Um, I'm pulling some cart. Wow. Honey. Oh my gosh, Gemini. <laughs> Y'all are going through it. I didn't even get a chance to say um, that I'm pulling cards for your second row now, which is in deal with, uh, in regards to like your social connections, right? Just your social interactions, relationships in your life, platonic or romantic, right? Just the people in your life, right? I didn't get a chance to talk about it because I was starting to shuffle and the cards just started flying out. Just the major arcanas, like you just got four major arcanas coming out. So the two cards that came flying out initially, Gemini, were the moon card and the death card. So definitely someone catches you off guard and it leads to some type of closure <laughs> uh, because you have also as the back of the deck energy, the tower card. Um, so this really is like a, you look at this uh, Gemini 
And it's just like, I feel like you don't even have to know Tara that much to just realize like how like ominous this looks. But this is where it's my job to be annoyingly optimistic, Gemini, and let you know how I'm processing this. Um, because I feel like we kind of already knew, we could kind of already anticipate um, something catching you off guard or something being up. I feel like you've already sensed this because you have the High Priestess as an overall energy, right, Gemini? So you already had your guard perhaps up with something, with something or with people. The Moon card comes in as something being revealed to you, something um something going on that more there's more going on than meets the eye and you probably already suspected that gemini and it probably comes to light because we also had the sun card come in um something coming to light um but i also want to like we'll put a pin on that sun card until the cl closing part of it um something coming to light and this leads to like the death and the tower now death obviously does not mean a literal death gemini it just means like the closure of something and just really affirming it with the tower card and really kind of affirming like the um impactfulness and the seriousness of this right so this is kind of like a whole uproot upheaval of your life right maybe for some of you gemini's uh you might be moving I know that may not be directly inter related to your social, but it is just like a like moving to a whole new social place, social circle, social place. Like it just, I don't really feel like there is like your life just like I feel like you're just going through, like even though it's related to the, like some type of social connection, Gemini. I feel like you're just everything is really just greatly changing for you. Um, with that death and tower card, this heavy transition energy. But this transitions leads to the sun card. Sun card's the best card in the deck, so it is in the name of a lot of clearing in the name of um, victory later. So maybe you have to let go of this person or let go of things, right? Clarifiers we have for this Gemini. We have the justice card coming in, things being coming back into balance, karma taking its place, whether it's good or bad, two of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. So it's like a choice is being made and you're choosing to, in, whether in this situation, you listen to your intuition, Gemini, and you're choosing yourself, which I really do like because you see the injustice, injustices in this. You see where you're not being treated fairly, perhaps, right? If this is some type of conflict with this person, and you're just choosing yourself the hanged man is that situation where it does seem to be like something kind of forced your hand um almost gemini and it's just like you're not going to like keep trying to like fight for this person to stay in your life if they don't want to be in your life perhaps right gemini um uh, interesting let's now just get into your spread for your your final spread uh, Gemini, which is just going to be all about your just general messages from your spirit guides, ancestors, what all, what have you. The card that flew out initially, Gemini, was the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, this is that like, I feel like you definitely just are in your head this week and just like have some moments of doubt. Um, communication, I'm going to be honest, I don't see it being all that grand. I feel like the intentions are there, but communication when it comes to people, um, it just isn't that refined could be better i guess right especially like watch your communication gemini this week whenever you feel challenged or hurt in some type of way i really don't like to see this energy the knight of swords with the uh, three of swords because this lets me know of like a let's just say gemini you got into a fight with your best friend your intentions when you communicate and confront them is to are good right you just want to figure things out but because you're feeling coming from a place of hurt that communication just isn't there because the knight of swords just doesn't know how to communicate their feelings properly quite yet they don't have the refinement quite of it as like the queen of swords and the king of swords does right it's still a little bit learning their way so just be careful about how you be aware how you communicate when you get in your own head when you get in your feelings when your feelings are hurt that is something i just want to say um, especially with how these cards are coming out, Gemini. Uh, the wheel card coming in for you again. So this is definitely a, uh, with this being the overall energy and this coming in as your general message as well, Gemini. Hmm. 
there's like a, it's just like a, a constant like choice. I keep hearing choice. The choice needs to be made for your happiness. Letting go, of, and that may just involve letting go of something, letting go of somebody, right? It's probably a huge decision, right? Some of you guys may be considering breaking off like marriages or relationships. Some of you guys may be just considering breaking off of a friendship or a connection that you've known for a really long time. And it's like, it's hard. It's a hard choice to make, but you have to do this for your own happiness. It may not make sense right now why you're being, uh, why you're doing what it is that you're doing, Gemini. You may look like a fool to everybody else, but you're not, you know, you're not a fool. You're just practicing your faith. You're practicing and knowing that the world is, has your back, right? You, you know that this is big changes happening in your life right now. You acknowledge it, but you're not afraid of it in the slightest, which is good. You shouldn't be afraid of it. You have this in the bag, right? What did I say before, Gemini? What did I say? Pop quiz. What did I say, honey? What did I say? Listen to your intuition this week. If you're feeling anxious, Gemini, this week, it's fine. It's normal. I understand it. Especially with all these major arcanas, you're going through heavy transitions, heavy, huge week for you. Very huge week in the sense of, like, it sounds dramatic, but I really don't see, think, like, after this week, Gemini, let me know what's up with you just to make sure that we're, like, you're still even in the same dimension, basically, because it's just, like, I really don't feel, like, I feel like you're going through some major shifts that it's, like, your your life isn't going to be the same after this week in some type of capacity. Like, you're either going to be in a new zip code, you're going to have, like, a new, like, I just feel big shifts, but it's all, it's all good. You got this, Gemini. Um, that's a reading that I have for you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading, Gemini. And then also share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.